know why the legs of a new stupid sculpting stand always line up perfectly with the legs of your damn chair. But they do! Anyway, today I'm going to be working on this guy's face. And I want to take this off of here. I think I'm going to have to use a, a knife instead of my... Alright, what I'm going to do is cut right along this hat line here. And cut right into the, the foam. And uh, cut. There's a looks like a, a natural seam here. It's probably been glued on here anyway, so I'll just cut along that. this will do is give me all the proportions and everything there. And so I just remove the face. I uh, made a little jig or board to uh, work on the face and uh, draw the pattern. match it perfectly. Now I'm going to glue this right to there. That way I've got the nose and the eyes somewhat and even the mound of the mouth with the center of the mouth right there. So all my proportions are there. Now I have the original clay that I did for the uh, face. This is all that I've got left of uh, Captain Lovewell. And I kept it for a good reason because <laughs> I didn't know how this was going to all work. So uh, I've got that to work from and uh, so now I guess the best thing to do is get started. Okay, the first thing I want to do is just build up the uh, clay. This is the part that I've been dreading because uh, I want to get as accurate as I can. But I know also that it may be no way to get it as accurate as the original. So I'm just going to do as best I can do with the cards I've been dealt. Let's double check that depth. I got a little more to go. I want to check the uh, length between there and there.
All right, just a pause for the cause, so to speak. Um, this video is brought to you by me. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you my uh, seven DVDs that I have available. Uh, this one's on creating a male bust in clay. Uh, this one is a, a supplemental video called uh, Clay to Bronze. It's a tour of the uh, foundry. And uh, but anyway, I've got uh, sweet grass. I've got uh, a life-size bust. I got a full-size figure of a mountain man and an Indian woman holding a baby. These are the seven that I have. Um, there'll probably be more in the near future. I'm going to be doing one on a horse. But uh, here I'm going to take a break and show you how to purchase these uh, DVDs online. Let's see if I can get it on there. A Day in the Life of a Lemon, block blogspot.com. That's my website. And uh, when you get there, this is the, the home page. And you'll see up here at the top right-hand column, look at my finger there's here. a Buy Now t uh, tab right there. And what you do is you just click on this uh, little drop-down menu, and you've got all six of my DVDs uh, Mount here. Mount. And then right at the bottom is this Clay to Bronze, which is the uh, Founder Tour. And as you can see, it's uh, not as expensive as the ones above. If you don't understand anything on this page, here's a uh, language uh, thing here. Uh, you just drop this uh, menu down and you can select any language uh, that you speak. We'll get back to the uh, uh, sculpture that I'm working on in progress. Alright, what I'm going to do now, before I put the face back on, is start carving away some of this foam up here because I'm going to have to reconstruct all this anyway because all the detail was lost in the collar and the linen neck scarf that he wore so I'll just re-sculpt that part out of the way. Let's put the face on and see what it looks like. Ah! Just throw it around, Dave. Got just a little bit of a errant piece of foam that didn't want to move, so I'm going to get it out of the way. needs work, but that's okay, I can do it. May have to cut the hat off just to, so I can see the face. But I think that's going to be good. Alright, that's what I'm going to do today and uh, come back tomorrow with fresh eyes and, and see what it looks like. Alright, everybody have a great night. It's getting there. <laughs>